when do you want to use some of the magic he's able to create and when do you want him to win from the pocket on time? How do you go about finding that balance, Coach? You know, I think, you know, this discussion could go on and on. I mean, I think Drew Brees kind of probably settles it the best. You know, Drew Brees is the similar height. Uh, Drew Brees, what he did in college was prolific, but he did it with accuracy. So I think you start with the quarterback needs to be accurate, putting the ball on those guys that can make plays. Now, Ian has the athletic ability that he can keep plays alive. So I just think it has to happen within the, the natural uh, offensive structure and don't make things up for him. So I think he can operate, you know, from the pocket. Uh, we did a lot of direct snap and he was he was effective. Uh, in that operation um, but certainly with his size you want to be in a lot of shotgun as well but again I think accuracy um, the arm strength uh, and then the ability to keep plays alive and doing those things naturally and not just you know getting this guy moving all over the place it's funny coach because a lot of people I talked to Ian you know slept on him in high school slept on him in college and then he proved him all wrong and now he's on the list with Joe Montana. Yeah. What makes him special? What are the intangibles that he brings to the table? You know, first of all, you have to have that makeup um, that, that can't be taught. So, you know, when he came here, he had those incredible traits of, um, you know, always bouncing back, right? Because he had been told that even in high school. And so when he gets here, um, you know, he was overlooked. There were other quarterbacks that got all the attention when he was here. And he paid no attention to that. He just did his job, and when he got his opportunity, uh, he made the best of it. I think the best example is probably the Clemson game, right? Yeah. You know, well, we go up big, and then Clemson comes back and, and scores and goes ahead, and then he just responds. And it was kind of, you know, a body blow, and then he comes back and he responds. That's the kind of career that he's had. Any time that he has taken a body blow, he has responded. Who wouldn't want that kind of competitor? Amen to that. Coach, if you, if you were a evaluating today as we see specifically what he's doing on the field right now what would you be looking for well first and foremost the quarterback makeup a lot of this happens before he even touches the football you know can he handle the big stage can he handle the coaching can he handle the playbook and then when he walks into that locker room he's got to command the respect of that entire group he obviously has all those things or he wouldn't have been able to do the things that he's done here. After you get that accomplished, then you look at, for me, the accuracy point. Put it on the guys that are making a lot of money. Uh, and in the NFL, those guys got to touch the football. And I think because he's an accurate quarterback and has the makeup, Somebody's going to sleep better when they put him on his roster. Hey, that's true. We talked to Coach Reese, and he said one thing Ian's trying to focus on is playing on time. Yeah. Can you just share your thoughts on seeing him grow in that area or what he needs to improve on? Yeah, I, I think that's a great point, Corey. I think playing on time is naturally going through your progression and, and not waiting for it to happen and just having that confidence that that person's going to be open and, and letting the ball go. You know, he wants to be perfect sometimes, and, and I think he just has to let things happen on time and not wait for things and sometimes that's just you know having a, a set of receivers that you have built a relationship with and Ian hasn't been fortunate that way he turned over two sets of receivers in his last two years and uh, he's made them a lot of money too yeah, they're playing a lot of football and yeah. coach they, they like to throw around sneaky athletic when it comes to book it looked like he just blazed a 40 out here though what do you think of what you saw yeah, we got him down for a four, five, six, uh, wow. somewhere in the four, five range. Um, so, you know, he can run. Uh, certainly, uh, that's going to keep him uh, in the conversation as well as a guy that obviously has the athletic ability uh, to run. And you could see they were all. I think everybody was a little reticent about running the forty indoors because this is a new facility. You know, as you guys both know, there's a little bit more maybe rubber in uh, the facility right now in in the turf because it's a new turf. Uh, they're all pretty happy about their times right now. <laughs> Coach, we'll let you go. Enjoy the show. Really appreciate you stopping by. Right, it's been thanks, a little guys. time. Good Thank you, Coach Kelly.